the dad knows he's ready, and it's from, it's up here from the fire here. I'm reading the book, Only the Fire, book two, and if you don't know what's going on here, there's apparently a war going on with food during the dragon crib, bodies are burning, and five eggs had been stolen from their, from the queen. Thieving. This is what we're reading really. We're focusing on thieving. Tsunami. Um, I have the books about clay. Tsunami. Where does that here? Gloria. I think it's just from Skyfire. I don't know. Yeah. But this is about Starfight, and that means this is about Tony. So if you don't know what Tony looks like, it looks like this. So yeah, I have all the books here from the package, and this book is emotional, and it looks like you cry the first time, so we're in it, so the ending is you cry. Poor Tsunami, and Poor Queen, Poor Queen Coral. Anyway, so that's the Queen's name in this. We're focusing on Tsunami now, story. So, yeah, I'm going to quickly show you what this amazing author illustrator did um here you go yes very nice picture so yeah all right i'm gonna start reading now straight out of the book Part 1, The Edge of the Ocean. Chapter 1, A wave rolls over into the deep, crashing around, tsunami's towering. Her webs claws sank into the wet sand. Her blue wings blurred into the wind. She lifted her head, breathing in the wild sea air. This is where she was supposed to be. This was her ocean. Let me guess, Gloria said mockingly behind her. You guys, that's just not freedom. Freedom smells a lot like fish, Starfight over his herb, which is clear, kind of nose curling awfully. I love it, Tsunami said. This was a tongue, this is another tongue of peace that's stolen from her. They'd kept her trapped in that gale burning air underneath the mountain her whole life. She is meant to be out there, flying and swimming like a rough sea wind. Starflight glanced up at the sky and edged back towards the dark ceiling. The line of the beach shouldn't be standing in the tree. What did the troll I mean, he stopped and took a deep breath. We must stay under the trees. Alright, every yes. Alright, yes, everyone. Back into the trees right now. The others ignored him. Although Sunny gave him a pretty angry look. Tsunami bent her head to study the waves, rushing over her tongue. Small shapes like silver and green yellow darted through the shallow. The ocean smelled much more alive than the cave river. What only what it only, it was only a week since they ran away from their guardian. It's hard to remember exactly how long they've been trapped in the Skyway prison. But there's one thing she don't remember clearly. The sound of bones snapping and there's a talent. She poked the hole in the sand with her claw. I had to kill that fiend. Queen Scarlet and they forced us to fight. And then there was no other way out of the arena. She was crazy. It was either him or me. The same thoughts kept er, circling in her head. Like rammed winged dragons. She shook her head and flared her wings. This is ridiculous. She is a dragon. Or a scavenger. Excuse me one second, Sam.
Uh oh. Put the book right there. I will be right back. You guys are like no. Oh my god. So, I took a break because one of my dogs made this ear bleeding sound. I guess like it was in pain. I had to go outside so bad. So I went out and y'all just chilling. It's weird, right? Well, you're gonna see more of my face. Soon, I better be touching the book. But yeah. Here we go. Dragon were meant to be forced warriors. Why do I bash and rattle her so much? She shook her head and slammed her wings. This is ridiculous. Besides, Gloria had done worse with her deadly vomit. She didn't see Vollard at all. You know what I love? Quick head, muscle and fish. Muscle and fish. Big fish I can eat. Now let's go inside the sky. No. The mud has sat down in the sand beside the naughty. Just pulled it and grabbed loud enough for that one to hear. Funny giggles. Clay, it's only been a day since we caught that enormous pig for all of us. It was enormous. Quick head. She said. It was the smallest pig in the world. Clay said. You should have eaten my carrot. Freddy clambered up and sat on his back and peered out at the ocean. The sun was just rising in the peach pale sky. Cast both to the path, light across the water, two full moons, barely shivered like thin cloth, were vanishing behind the mountains. I'm serious, everybody, Sir Frank said, it's not safe on the beach. With all the mud in the sky, was looking for us. The night wings were was standing well out of reach of the waves, trying to shake up the stand up of his talons. As far as Zoni was concerned, they had already wasted a day flying south of the diamond stay. Zarina, basically because the Starfight had it worried and explained until everybody agreed yes. The skyings were after them. Yes. We probably need the dra Pro they were probably mad about the dragon's escape from the sky prison. And yes, they were definitely not the part where Gloria their maybe killed the queen on the way out. But the Nami didn't want to keep running. She wanted to find her family. And once she knew who she was, she was sure of who to protect her. That's true. Clay means it up. It might not be what you're hoping for, Sonali. Like finding out my mother sold me for a cow.
Hey, Gloria said it was at least two cows. Mm, comforting, said Clay. Would it be like that disability? She was sure of it. Maybe Clay's dream of his family turned out all wrong. But her? But hers would be sick, especially now that she knew her egg had been sold to the royal hatchery. Since she was the daughter of a steering queen, not the only guy, but according to Starfight, none of the other queen's female dragons had survived to adulthood. She only was the only living heir to the Seeling Kingdom. One day she would be feeling Seeling too. That meant she would have to fight her mother to the death to become queen one day. But that could be as far off as she wanted it to be. Not something she had to think about now. She scratched her wings and breathed in the salt air again and out of the corner of her eye. She touched the end. Tiny creatures pop out of the spark sand and then vanish again. I could have just dive in and looked for the same place myself. Really suggested. Out there? Starfight sounded the alarm. He spread his wings and shook off the sand from them. Blinking exhausted, blinking exotically. What else do you suggest? I find the ceiling, she asked. Swimming in the ocean's mouth, like swimming in the underground river cave. Starfight. Lizard. There are strong currents and unpredictable waves. The big things are teeth. I'm a big wheel too. Mommy said, like grinning at him. He didn't laugh. It's not safe, he said. What if we lose you? Tsunami wanted to poke his wink up of worried snow with her sharpest claw. Starfight cheered up, Sunny. Starfight cheer up, Sunny. Interrupted. Tsunami can do anything. And how she's supposed to get to her home if she can't go into the sea. Oh no, Clay had himself to his feet, gathering the sand, <laughs> nearly dislocating Sunny, who grabbed his neck with his belt. Sand and she and seashells, the tiny amount of crabs flew through the air, and he lashed his tail. Oh, stop that, Gloria commanded, covering her eyes. What about us? Clay's big bird wings flapped. I didn't think of that, Tsunami. We can't go with you to the seeing place. We can't breathe down there. How can we stick together if we're underwater? She clawed at the water, leaving a deep gap in the wet sand. What are we going to do, Tsunami? What kind of... Tsunami kind of adored that clay, that clay when she was so silly to read that. She also adored that he had taken an entire day to figure out the kingdom of the sea was underwater. Who knew? He clawed at the water and he owned it and he was. Seriously? Gloria said to Clay. All the geographic geographic lessons without a single one that sung in. Clay turned in a confused circle. Crab scurried out of the way of his giant trunk. What? The seedlings have it above water place too. 
Fairfight said in his he you should have said his more voice. So they received guests so they can receive guests like their family to Ali Blizzard. Blizzard. It's on an island somewhere in the Bay of a Thousand Scales. Oh Christ, that's how evolution guy and pat on his shoulder. But he had a shoulder. I don't remember that either. So we go there, right? Not easily, Starfight said. Both singing places underwater and on land are hidden. That's how they've lasted so long in this war. Even though they don't have fire like the other tribes, nobody can find find them to attack their homes. Sounds like the Nightwing war, I guess that next. And there's nothing like the Nightwing. It's not really like the Nightwing. She only cried. Demons aren't trying to act all mysterious and traditional. They're trying to be seasonal about guarding their home. Sensible about guarding their home. There are over a thousand islands to search. But it's still probably. Starfight stopped. Vincent and caught a glance at the sky again. Does anyone smell fire? Three moon, Starfight. I'm not hiding in the tree. Every time you smell a little fire. That did spook you. Spook you, she only said. Wait, I think he's right, Sunny. Looked at her head. I hear wing meat. I do too, Starfight said. He spread his red ridge along his back, set up an alarm. And he boarded for the tree, pretty as fast as he could, from this far away. You know what he said? I don't see anything up there. But just as he said it, she stopped. A tear in her head of speckled. It looks like spattered blood on the sand ringing from down the mountain the northwest. Sky and control violent symbol. Sky and patrol coming their way. Alright you guys, so um I'm with Captain Two now. Uh see you in the next video guys. Have a fantastic day.